Welcome to Tembi. It's a lovely day out. I'm here to show you what Tembi's like, so join me for the journey. I'm going to take you around Tembi Town Centre and show you what it's like and what shops are available here. Along with that, I'm going to take you around the other side of Tembi and show you the stunning beach over there. And you've got Tembi Castle over there too. So let's go and explore. When visiting Tembi, I like to come in here for lunch. They do lots of different things, baguettes, jacket potatoes, and of course, lots of different pasties in here. I'll show you what I get in a minute. Here we go then, when you go and order your food, you just wait outside here until it's ready. And here we go then. What a view to have lunch. Here we go then, I've gone for the cheese and beans jacket potato. Just had my jacket potato then, now I'm going to show you around the shops and show you what's available here. Just walking into Tembi Town Centre then, have a look around some shops and as I said before, show you what's available. If you're looking for a fudge shop then Rowley's is for you, my favourite fudge shop around here. They make their fudge, fudge just in there, as you can see there it is there. Just give you a little look around in here just quickly. Different packs of fudge there. And you also have an arcade over there if you want to take your kids in. Walking along here then we have an ice cream store just over there, sweet shop. And then we've got a nice gift shop just in the distance over there. It's quite a nice little gift shop if you're looking for a gift to buy for someone. Really nice sweet shop in there. I'll show you what's in the window of this shop then. And what gifts are available. Got a nice lighthouse down in there, that looks really nice. Got a Tembi crab. What else have we got? Let's have a look around here. Some nice home signs just up here, that's quite nice. And then you've got a family one just over there. And in the shop you've got these nice Tembi coasters here, they're quite nice for 7 99 I mean it's not like I like coasters or anything is it? If you're looking for any clothes whilst visiting Tembi, the white stuff is your place. They've got some quite nice outfits in there. Looks really nice, white stuff. Now if you're looking for a drink and to relax around here, you've got the Lifeboat Tavern and then you've got Tembi House as well, it's quite nice in there, they've got a garden outside as well. Equinox is a really nice gift shop, I'm going to take you in there and give you an explore. Let's go in then and see what we can find. Here we go, look at this lovely ferris wheel in here, 29 99 it's got a really nice relaxing tune to it as well. If you're not looking for a ferris wheel, there's also a merry-go-round, saxophone up there, drum kit, the list goes on. Yeah, Equinox is a really nice shop, lots of gifts in there, lots of smelling scents and lots of souvenirs that you can buy your family when visiting Tembi. I'm going to head down the beach now and show you what it's like down there. If you're looking for some boat trips around here, you can get on a nice safari there, or you can get on an island cruise, and they also have a rib ride. Looks quite good. A short walk away from the shops, and you come down here, and you're greeted by a lovely sandy beach, and into the distance there you've got Tembi Castle. Looks absolutely stunning. It's such a lovely beach around here to have a walk along, relax, have a sunbathe and in the better weather, go for a swim. And the beach stretches all the way along there. It's a long walk. So lovely just coming along here, going for a relaxing walk and just soaking in those views. Look at that. There's a really nice park over there that you can walk through and there's some fantastic tea rooms over there that does very nice cakes. So I'm going to check that out and take you along for the journey. So see you over there. I'm going to head over to Amroth now. There's some stunning beaches over there and along with that, lots more on the way. When visiting Amroth, I highly recommend visiting Colby Woodlands. You get some fantastic views and look at the scenery around here. They also have a tea room around here and I'm going to show you that now 
and show you what's available. There's a really nice tea rooms around here, as I said. And I'll show you what's inside and show you what's available. There is a really nice selection of cakes and with drinks we've got different hot chocolates over there special coffees and along with that some smoothies and they also do various lunches in here we've got some salads there well you've got some different rolls various places as you can see I went for the Cherry Bakewell cake because I've had this here before and it's one of my favourite cakes in the whole of the UK. This was 10 out of 10 last time, it looks great. Can't wait to try it. And here we go, let's give this a bite, see what it tastes like, see if it's as good as before. Mmm. It is. And that was the tea rooms. Yeah, it's my favourite cake in the whole of the UK, I really enjoyed that and I really recommend it. When you visit Amaroff, I highly suggest coming down here to Colby Woodlands. They've got lovely tea rooms and look at this. All of the waterfalls, lovely scenery and the walks here are great. You've got all lovely flowers around here, look at these. Stunning. If you like walking then this is the place for you. Lots of people walking their dogs around here and you can see why with scenery like this. Now I'm not sure if people are living down here but as you can see they've got great views if they do. It's about a 15 to 20 minute walk down to the beach now so I'm gonna head that way and show you what's down there. Now this area here is always covered in water flies and you'll see that when you look into the water just down here, well they should do anyway, they're always here normally. Here we go, it's getting a bit closer, see if you can see them. Just down there. Lots of them around. And that was Colby Woodlands. Now if you come out of Colby Woodlands at the back end, which that is, it's not the front end, you're greeted by great views of the beach just down there. And to head down to the beach, you just follow this road down and you'll be down there within about five minutes. Heading down to the beach now, there's lots of places to eat and have a snack at. There's an ice cream booth there, there's Pirate Grill and Beach Shop, and along with that you've got Pirate Cap and Takeaway. And if you're looking for something more substantial, I highly recommend going to Smugglers, or you've got the Temple Bar just over there as well. I'll quickly show you the menu of Smugglers then. You've got burgers here, you've got jacket potatoes, various veggie options as well if you're a vegetarian like me and they also do breakfast here now Amaroff is my favourite place to visit in Wales and that's because you get some stunning views out there all untouched as well Tenby's a little bit more built up so if you like somewhere to go quiet then get yourself down here I mean look at this Tenby has lots of little places where you can go for a drink enjoy a bite to eat or just have a look around the shops. Whereas Amaroff is a lot more peaceful and you can just sit back, relax and enjoy your time there. Now as you can see it's just me on here today, the beach is absolutely deserted because it was raining earlier. Usually you can see lots of starfish on here but at the moment I can't find any. It's time to wrap up my day at Tembi. I hope you've enjoyed this little insight into what Tembi and Amaroff is like. Should you visit? Definitely, I highly recommend it. So as always, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a like and subscribe. It really does help the channel grow. Lots more content on the way. I'm going to be visiting lots of places and asking the question, should you visit? What are your favourite places when visiting Tembi? Did I miss anything? What are your favourites? Please let me know in the comment section. It's goodbye from me and that's goodbye from Tembi. Me, and I'll see you in the next Theme Park Top 10 video, not just a Theme Park channel. Theme Park Top 10, give me a subscribe. <laughs>